Hello, I'm Lou Fleger with Kesserellis Products. Today we're going to be talking about the Batch Troll 2 and the Pulse Input version of the Batch Troll 2. We get a lot of technical calls about how do I connect a Hall Effect or Open Collector circuit to the Batch Troll 2 and what do I need to make it work with the Batch Troll 2. Basically with the Batch Troll 2 it'll take any high impedance input what that means, any voltage pulse uh, from 4 to 30 volts DC will work with the Batch Troll 2. Uh, if you're using a Hall Effect sensor, what you will need to do, and I'll show you in this video, is to disconnect the power first from the back of the Batch Troll 2, like so. You then have to remove the six screws that are around the bezel of the front of the unit. Now I will remove those screws. Now to re you're going to have to remove the unit from the case. Removing those screws allows the front bezel assembly to come off like so. You can just put that off to the side with your screws so you don't lose them. And then you will basically just push on the back connector and slide the unit out the front of the case. Once you have the unit out on, of the case, you turn the case over and lay the unit flat on the case. The reason we're doing this is just because of ESD. Um, at this point, you'll sit, notice there's a little PC board behind the display. This PC board is the pulse input card and it's got four switches labeled one through four. Um, switches one and two allow you to change the frequency at which the batch troll will accept the pulse. You can do 40 hertz which is switch one and two on, 400 hertz which is switch one on, switch two off, or 20 kilohertz which is switch one and two off. If you have your Hall Effect sensor connected to the batch troll. What you're going to need to do is go to switch 4, which is this bottom switch right here, down here. And simply just take a screwdriver and turn the switch to the on position. You'll see it'll be on the switch box. There will be, and I'll take this out just for observation, you will see there's a little arrow with on pointing up and switch 4 will now be up. What that does is it puts a 4.7k ohm quarter watt 5% resistor pulled up to VCC so that your input's pulled up so your open collector or uh, Hall Effect transistor will be able to drive the pulse to ground. Once that's done, all you simply have to do is put the unit back in the case. You'll notice there's a track on either side. The PC board fits in that track and you slide it in like so and then you just stick your case back on the unit and then reinstall your six screws and the unit is ready to go. You can plug it back in, turn the power on, and then hook up your meter and the batch troll is ready to go with a Hall Effect or Open Collector transistor. If you need any further assistance, you can call myself Lou Flegger. I'm the Senior Applications Engineer at Kessarellis. Uh, my number is 1-800-631-2165 and I'm at extension 321. Thank you and have a great day.